All right, that's settled. I'm building a barge. I'm taking measurements. I'm gonna take photos here. I'm gonna build one. I'm gonna name it Marge, of course, Marge the Barge. It's going to live on Glen Lake in Goffstown, New Hampshire. Um, and it's gonna be decorated solely with cans and caps from energy drinks that I've consumed while building it. So if you wanna get in on that project, let me know. Doing great, guys, I'm doing great. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Steph. I'm super happy that you're here. Um, we are exploring in beautiful Bangkok today, Bangkok, Thailand. We are on the Bangkok Noi Canal. Look at that big old water monitor right there. I think he's got a dead fish with a catfish. Big old boy over there. So what we are doing today is, this is the only way to get to one of the least visited museums in Bangkok, Sawadika. It is, wait for it, wait for it, don't get too excited. The Royal Barge Museum. The King's Boats, I'm very excited. It, it, it's very exciting. Um, I'm probably more excited than most people would be about the King's Boats, but you know. But this is legitimately how you get there. <clears throat> Guys, stay with me because you don't think that the King of Siam was cruising down the Mae Nam Chow Praya, the famously known as the River of Kings, on some like two bit, like Trump rally disaster pontoon boat. No, these guys were styling and cruising in style. And we're gonna check it out. I came here earlier at 7.30, the museum wasn't open yet, but there were mean dogs right here. So let's see if the mean dogs are still here. Nope, just a nice dog. Hello, nice dog. made it to the Royal Barge Museum. The lighting isn't great, but I still think you can see a lot and it's, it's really, really amazing special boats here. Um, Royal Barges have existed in Siam as long as there has been a Siam. Back to the Sukhothai period, uh, well before the Ayatea period. So we're talking like 12th century that the procession of Royal Barges has been a thing. What does that mean? That means that for a number of reasons, for coronations, for religious ceremonies, for any number of reasons, you get about 70 of these bad boys out on the river with the king in the middle, and it looks pretty darn cool. Um, all of these have been restored. They, all of the original royal barges were destroyed in uh, the fall of Ayutthaya, so 1767, I believe. Um, the capital of Siam, Ayutthaya, was raised to the ground by the Burmese all of the royal barges were destroyed. So when the capital moved to Bangkok, they started building more royal barges, had a nice supply going. Uh, but then during the Second World War, obviously Thailand was occupied by Japan and the allies did bomb Bangkok and destroyed most of the royal barges that had been rebuilt since the fall of Ayutthaya. So uh, Rama IX, his royal majesty um, in the 50s, came here down to the dock saw his barges were a complete mess and he had the fine arts department restore them. So it set off this huge project to restore all of the, the royal barges and make some new ones. So what they have on, uh, have on display here is four major barges and then a couple smaller ones. And out of the remaining ones, um, there's like 40 other ones and they are at the main, like one of the main Thai Navy headquarters. So let's check them out. Ready? Thirty-six oarsmen and ten drummers on this one. This place. Like, and you have to imagine the pomp and the pageantry and the color, the golds and the reds, and the navy men in uniform with their brightly colored uniforms. 
like on a sunny day down the Chao Praya in the middle of Bangkok where there's going to be temples on either side that the sun is glinting off. Just the majesty of this procession, I cannot imagine. Um, I believe the last one was for the coronation of Rama X. Um, so I, I would like to see this sometime in my lifetime because that would be amazing. These are some of the remaining original uh, early 19th century boats or barges pieces that were damaged in the Allied bombing. These were also damaged in the bombing. You can see the... So it's wood. Some of them are dugouts and some of them are not. Most of them there are designed to be dugouts of a single, uh, single giant tree. But then there's lacquer and gold paint and glass. imagine these were sitting from what 1942 to 1954 so for 12 years just I can imagine under the broken ceiling deteriorating but Rama the ninth was an incredible man and this is obviously many wonderful things that he did I, I think this is one of them because um, what a, what a gift to leave his people to leave this heritage to them intact the figurehead of the royal barge Nari Song Saban. So this is from 1824. And that's where the business end goes. That's where a cannon would be. You get 50 oarsmen like that paddling, 10 drummers, uh, a bunch of folks that are just there in military regala, and monks and courtesans, and you get a big old thing like this going. These are two of the barges from the 1850s. So you have to remember that Europeans were starting to come to Southeast Asia. The French were here, the Portuguese were here, the British were here. They all had modernizing navies, they had modern navies. The Thais still had these. Um, so that second half of uh, the 1800s was really a push to try to get some modern naval uh, ships in and they did that but didn't necessarily have the training or the numbers of them so if you can imagine these barges incredibly impressive incredibly intimidating you have 50 of these coming at you with cannons and guys with swords and you are uh, also guys on boats with swords that is very scary but if you are a European on a boat with many many cannons and you have many many guns these don't seem quite so scary So 
So at the Pak Nam incident, they took a bunch of barges like this at the mouth of the Chao Preya and actually tried to block the river to keep the French gunboats from coming in. It didn't work. They slipped right past them. But, wow. For my taste, I think this is my favorite one because I like the lacquer and gold. I don't care so much about the glass or the, the shiny gold, but I like the lacquer and gold paint. What do you guys think? There's some big catfish under the barges. Big kitty cat fish. So I was able to skedaddle out of the Barge Museum right as a boatload, a literal boatload of uh, visitors were coming in. So that was cool, we had it all to ourselves. Um, yeah, thank you for coming along. This isn't everybody's cup of tea, but if it was yours, thanks. Uh, we do a lot of different things on this channel. We do some adventuring, we hang out with animals. Maybe ride some motorbikes sometime. So stick around. You can like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for being with me today. Yeah, have a wonderful day. Uh, I've got 15 minutes left on this SD card and I'm gonna take you with me for the rest of the day up to random shit. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Let's go. I don't know why mudlarking the uh, Chow Preya has it taken off. Look at all the treasure. Ah, bricks, fishing line, whatever this is. This is the Bangkok Noi Canal, so it's not technically the Chow Preya. But... I just found some abandoned boats, pretty cool. are cast net fishing down at the abandoned pier um, and I've asked them if we could just hang out and see how they do it and they said yeah it was cool that we could video them so it's pretty cool So they caught two little ones. I just grab one. Any game, Mike? Oh, okay. 
so they can eat these. Huh? It's not bad. Three fish for one little cast? I told those guys that the fat white person was not going with them on those boats because I don't want to end up in this water. But I might hang out and fish with the kids. Hello, hello, hello. Sometimes what I like to do just to, to make the cardio go on, you know, just make it a little easier is I do hyming, which is where I pretend I'm in a hyme music video and I walk like I'm in a hyme music video. I don't have to be listening to Haim. Anything with just like a little bouncy little little bass line that you can kind of groove to. I don't know. I'm not going to go any further than that. This is cool. <laughs> 